Hi, I have welcome to Kahiru. So in this episode of our Lead Code series, we are going to solve the question name Sort the People. So in this question, we are given a set of names and their respective heights. So we have two arrays given to us as input. So let's first read the question, understand what is given in the question and then develop an algorithm to solve this question and finally let's code lead code and code the given algorithm. So let's get started by reading the question. So here we are given an array of strings named names and an array called heights. Both of these contain distinct posture numbers. So distinct meaning things don't repeat and we have only posture numbers because uh, we know for certain that height is always positive, right? Height cannot be a negative number. So the distinct uh, positive numbers is what heights array is made of. And both these arrays of length n. So these are the main two information that are given to us. So we have two arrays, names and uh, heights. And heights contain positive distinct numbers, okay? So for each index i, we have a respective names of i and a height of i, denoting the height of that person i. So let us first take this given array, Alice, Bob and Bob. So from this given array of names and this array of heights, what information can we infer from? We know that height of Alice is 155, height of Bob is 185 and height of the second Bob is 150. So of each respective index, we have their name associated with their height. So this is how we have these two arrays given to us. With this information, we have to sort these people based on their height. For example, if we sort them based on their height and specifically in the descending order. So, whose height is the maximum? They should come first, right? And that is what descending order means. So, height of Bob is 185 and hence the first Bob should come first with the height of 185. And second highest is Alice with 155 and the third highest is Bob. So our output for this sample would be Bob, Alice, Bob with their respective heights being 185 and 155 and at last 150. So essentially the question is like this. We have these people in some order that is given to us as an array. We have to sort them based on their height in the decreasing order like this. And we are returning their names. So this is our question. Now, how do we do that? This is a basic sorting example application program. So, we can obviously use any sorting algorithm to solve this problem. A basic approach would involve a bubble sort algorithm and that is what we are going to see in this episode. But of course, you can always try a quick sort algorithm or a merge sort algorithm to solve this exact question. So, let us first get to the algorithm and then you can imply any algorithm of sorting of your choice okay so let's get started so with this example first what do we do in a bubble sort algorithm we check the adjacent elements and if the elements are not in the right order that is in this case we want to or we want them to be in their descending order right so the first element should be the greatest so and the elements consecutively coming after it should always be less than the element that comes before it so that is the descending order. So we check the adjacent elements. If they are not in their proper order, then we swap them. And we continue this process for all pairs of adjacent elements such that at the end of this process, we will get the sorted version of the given array. This is what, this is how bubble sort works, right? So here we have these two pointers representing the adjacent elements. So the current element and the previous element. So these are the two pointers that we have. First, what do we check? We want them to be in their descending order. So we are checking whether the first element is less than the second element. If it is so, we'll swap them. In this case, 155 is definitely less than 185, right? And hence, we'll swap these numbers. So 185 would come here, 155 would go here. Is that enough? No. Here comes the twist in this question. We should also swap their names because we know Alice's height is at zero index because Alice is at zero index. So zero index in the names array is equal to zero index in height array. But if we just swap the height array, then their corresponding height will not be mapped correctly. 
So whenever we swap the elements in the height array, we should also swap those elements in the name array. That is the catch here. So no matter what sorting algorithm that you use, whenever you are swapping these numbers or whenever you are uh, manipulating these arrays, you should also manipulate in the names array. And that is the exact uh, algorithm of this question. Implement whatever sorting algorithm you want. Just make sure whenever you swap or change the one array, that is the height array, you also change the name array. So in this case, Bob and Alice will get swapped and 185 and 155 will get swapped. Next, what we'll do, we'll move on to the next pair of adjacent elements, which is 155 and 150. In this case, we check whether 155 is less than 150. No, it is not less than, it is greater than 150. So we need not swap. We'll move on to an X pair, but hence that isn't any pair. We'll stop this traverse. Now we have our final answer, Bob, Alice and Bob. So this is our final answer. And this is how we derive it. So it's a very simple question. Now let's go to lead code and apply a simple bubble sort algorithm and solve this question. As I said again, you can always choose any other algorithm that you prefer. So here we are in lead code. We have a function named sort people. Here we have the names and the height array given to us as input and we are going to return the names array and hence the return type is being a string array. Now let's get started. First, let us get the value of n that is the total number of elements that are present in this given array. Since we know that both of these arrays have the same number of elements n, we can use any array's length. Here, let me choose the length of height array. Okay. So, n is now storing the value of the total number of elements present in both of these arrays. Now, what is the next step? Next step is of course to use for loops and check for the adjacent elements. And if they are not in their right order, we must swap them. So, let's get to the for loop that we usually use in our bubble sort. So we know a bubble sort algorithm works only for n minus 1 iterations and hence the outer loop goes only for n minus 1 iterations. And how much does the inner loop go? Our inner loop goes only for n minus i minus 1 iterations. And let me tell you why that is. Uh, n minus i minus 1 j plus plus. We know that after each iteration in a bubble sort, the largest element bubbles up to its correct position, that is to its rightmost position. So in the first iteration, the largest element go to the last index. In the second iteration, the second largest element will go to the second last position. In this fashion, we know that in each iteration, the last i elements, so in the first iteration, zero elements will be sorted. But in the second iterations, the last or the maximum element is already sorted. You don't have to check that value, right? So, since the last values are already sorted, we don't check those values to make this algorithm a bit more efficient. And that is why we get these values as n minus i minus 1. So, if you have any doubts regarding this, you can always check out the bubble sort uh, algorithm in order to clarify this doubt. Okay. So, what is our condition for swapping? If uh, height of j is height of j is the current element if the height of j is less than height of j plus 1 so the current element is less than the next element since it is in a descending order our current element should be greater than the next element if that condition fails we are gonna swap these values so we should swap the height array obviously but also our name array so let us do that first let us have an integer temp in temp is equal to height of j height of j is equal to height of j plus 1 and height of j plus 1 is equal to temp so this is how you swap a uh, normally for a bubble sort but in order for this to work, we also must swap the name array, right? And hence, uh, let us again do that. What's the problem here with the indentation? Okay, I think it works. Yeah. So let us store, let's have another variable called temp1 and let's store the value of names of i. Sorry, names of j. 
it's just the same process but just replace integer with string and height with names that's it so names of j is equal to names of j plus 1 and names of j plus 1 is equal to our temp1 value so this is how we swap and change those values so what are we doing here we're taking the adjacent elements whether they are in the descending order as a uh, as per our necessary condition if they are not in the descending order that is our desired order we are swapping them so after the end of this for loop all we have to do is just return those names now this names will be in their sorted order of their descending order of their height and hence that would be our solution now let's verify this code by running it and checking for the sample test cases given so after that okay it got passed now let's submit the code and check for every other iteration that we have so every other test case that we check and we have successfully completed it so this is how we solve sorting the people based on the height question from lead code if you love this video please drop a like and comment down below if you have any queries we have a separate playlist result for lead code solutions you can always check that out if you have any doubts and please consider subscribing to Codeivo so that you don't miss out on any other further content that we produce. So, see you in the next episode of our Lead Code series. Until then, bye-bye.